we are working with animals that communicate sending vibrations, right? That travel only in the substrate, so not, not sounds like we are having now, but vibrations that travel through the plants. And their perception of the space is quite different to ours because the substrate where they are, first of all, it's not always the same. Like already in the meadows that we have here, you can see that it's many different kinds of plants with more different morphologies, different tissues, and all of this affects how the signals that they are sending to each other, it affects how they perceive them because the farther you get from the source, where this also as well in sound, but in, in our case, the farther you get from the source of the signal, the more it gets diffused and filtered by all the other substrates that are in the way. So they have their own specialized organs to emit these signals. And basically, the, these organs vibrate inside their bodies. It's kind of a drumming that it will lay, then transmit through their legs and from their legs to the rest of the plant, and then it will travel. Their organs are inside, and they also have organs in their legs. Uh, they are called chordotonal organs that is to receive these signals. It's like an inner ear. It's actually similar to an ear, but they are in the joints of their legs. It's very important that plants are touching each other and more or less they are all connected in order for the signal to travel far. In a meadow like this, where a lot of different plants are together, up from 20 centimeters or 30 centimeters, you start losing the signal. You, you, you can, at least our equipment cannot even pick it. So they perceive the space in a very active way. They, they move a lot, hearing around, looking for other sources of signals.